Hello, good morning, welcome to another LMS creation. Okay, so today we're going to make uh, to create the uh, interactive book. Okay, so if, if you do not know yet, say here you just have to go to from this drop down menu here, you can go to content bank and then from content bank you will be forwarded here and then let's remove this so that we can focus on the content bank this is where all your edits and uh, develop activities uh, are stored in the content bank for H5P okay so we will make an interactive book as introduction to our lesson so just find the interactive book here this one and then we'll need our res resource material in our case we will use the module right now we are our topic is all about chemical reaction so just grab a copy of the note of the e copy of the module and then copy paste title is chemical reaction we will enable the book cover and cover description let's just say let's get it from the module also the introductory message from the module so we have here I'll say what are the factors of chemical reaction and then just two questions to to spark the interest of the our learners then center and then bold because this is the heading and this is the cover page and we will also add cover image so you can uh, search in the google for any cover image jpeg format ping or you can have gif for interactive cover page so i'm using gif now so look at that it's uh, moving Okay, animated uh, pictures. Uh, that's the GIF format. Okay, so let uh, for the meantime, let's just save and take a look of our raw cover page, Muna. So this is how we, it will look like to the learners, the students. Okay, you have the image that we set as the background image, chemical reaction, and then okay so let's go back to edit interactive book it's uh it's not uh, so far in the update of the model uh, LM, uh, the lms it's not yet graded so this is uh, to introduce only lesson mm, but not for uh, assessment but for uh, lesson presentation okay so let's go to the in untitled column it's column number one we will make a title here so again let's go back to our reference material so let's uh, title it as let us learn then in the content you can add uh, depending on what you would like to add but in my case I will add text first here text okay and then let's have copy the text from the module because in my first part of the interactive book is the presentation objectives and introductory message so control V copy paste again I get that 
text I get the text from the modules we have a modules also so what we're doing is uh, we, we make the module transform it into into an interactive format using h5p okay so we have here a logo day and we will just have to edit just enter we we are going to enter here to give a uh, space from uh, from the border because you later on you realize pagwala if it does not have uh, space it will mm, look appear crowded in the in the person in the final output the text are a bit crowded if you don't do that okay so that's why we do that let's enter the following year oh the factors okay and then we'll do this to make it a paragraph format and uh, looks nice to our readers our students okay so we can do that or uh, if you want you can have uh, additional uh, tabs here like that okay then our competency make it bolder and let's remove the term module here let's put it uh, replace it with LMS because it's already an LMS again our goal is to make our make the content from the module in in an interactive format using h5p as mentioned okay so I think we're, we're good here okay so what what are the things that we missed so far Na okay none so let's let's try to view it the draft so if, if you're making an L L LMS you always have to save and, and then preview it if if it uh, it's uh, it goes according to what you are expecting okay so then then read okay so look at that hello good day so I think it's nice if you do if you did not uh, add space before and after the paragraph you will have your text here uh, stretch I mean uh, uh, close to the borders so that's the, f the function of of uh, having space before and after the text this one here okay so let's add another page so we've done the introductory part we presented the objectives so next we will uh, have a pretest or uh, and the term here used in the module is let us try so let's have that because it's a good term for a pretest and then we will use since it is a pretest quite a 10 item test so we will use question set question set is used if you want to add a series of questions uh, say more than one question okay so question set you can have uh, as uh, as many as I think 50 or more so far I've tried 50 items and still working so and then you can uh, have any type of test here no? so in this case we will uh, we will add 
uh, background so uh, let's search for a background I, I'm uh, I'm in the Google right now searching for the background well, you cannot see this in the screen because I'm screen sharing the the other okay here we go okay this one now if you're searching images you can use the you say you say users right and then go to I think it is uh, Creative Commons just to make sure that uh, the ones you are using are free from copyright issues but if it's just for school consumption yeah, you can uh, take in images as long as uh, you credit the source or cite the source much safer if you're using uh, Creative Commons images or from from public domain. Where where are the images? I can see a better image background to use. So, in doing also these uh, elements, we need to be patient. Okay, I think uh, I'll use this one. Hope so. Should appear nice, I don't know, but uh, let's see. Okay, I've chosen an image already. Let's go back to our LMS. Add background image. And then... So that's my background image. It will appear in the question set, and then we can use uh, quiz introduction or not. But uh, uh, for for this case, let's uh, display the introduction and let's use. Let us try. Okay, let us try. And then let's put an in introduction. How? Great job, you're making two words towards completing this. Okay, so we have here, this is coming from the module. Text come from the module, let's just have to edit this, uh, this LMS. And bottom and start crease. Let's have a background image. Maybe we can use the ping image that we have. Okay, so let's see. Then the question set progress or indicator so you can have textual this number one, two, three, four, five, and if that's you will only see that later on. And then let's add questions here. Let's just see the let's preview the quiz. How does it look like? Okay, so we have here the let us learn, hello, good day, and then let us try, just click here, okay, that is how our quiz will look like, start quiz, and that's the background, okay, I think uh, we're good, okay, next is the content of the quiz. So in the question type, let's just add multiple choice because the my my pretest is all multiple choice. So we can have we can have a title here or no title. It doesn't. It's so it's just okay. And let's go to textual. 
kasi we're going to paste all our quizzes at once to make it uh, easier so all you need to do is just copy and paste it to the box here copy from the module or uh, your any other resource that you have have in hand or you're using okay so I'm copying the last part six should be ten items and then yeah ten items okay next we're going to put the answer key and format it according to the suggested format space between items <coughs> and the choices should be arranged vertical like that here okay and then so we have here letter C enter and then put it at the edge of at the very edge of the column or B C okay space between item space between item let's check the format okay okay and should the question should be no breaks between the questions because uh, if it is a break it will the LMS will treat it as another option not part of the question so okay enter see this one so it should be no break in the question so you have to backspace for push button backspace to complete the sentence and space another case here should be no separation so backspace and let's cut this and then paste it here and then another case here backspace and our true maybe and okay so we have formatted it and let's input the answer key the correct answer of course so in the correct answer you will just have to put an asterisk before the choice the correct uh, letter no okay where is the answer here is just go back to your reference and get the answer key there A B D okay so <coughs> asterisk A then copy then B and copy paste it. you just have to input one asterisk and then copy paste it a, B, D, and then let's check the answer if it's correct. What will happen to the collision within particles when there is an increase in the temperature? Okay. Number three, Taya. Just randomly checking it, uh, correct if the answer key is correct. The rate of chemical reaction is affected by which of the following? Okay. Number four. 
four five six CCA. Okay. Let's have you input the uh, asterisk. Copy control V or paste CC. Okay, is that correct? CCA. Okay, CCA. Then seven eight nine and ten BBBA. Oh. Okay. So again, let's go back. If there are, we missed the. We should be here at uh, number four C. C. Okay, you must be very careful when entering the and <coughs> the answer key BBA okay excuse me so we have here B three B's B B and A and then counter check if the answer key is correct and questions are correct increase the concentration of reactants will slow down the reaction okay false correct the blank the surface of the of the reactants the faster the reaction the larger okay the smaller particles allows for a blank surface to be exposed for the reaction okay so i think uh, we we've, we've done here so we we, we have to uh, put additional uh, let's just save it first and then preview again this is how it's done here especially if you are just like me a beginner so it's better that we have to counter check it before okay so mm, yeah as you can see the choices are not in order so we have to edit that let's go back to our editing go back to let us try and then go back to question chat this time let's go to the individual uh, choice no? individual item and then go to the behavior portion the tab the behavior behavior tab and then uncheck this randomized sensor okay, uncheck then this will be done individually and check okay and check and, and check and check number six and check number seven three to go and check number eight and and wait 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 step wait, wait okay check guys if you're new to my channel just uh, click the notification bell hit the subscribe button and leave a like you can comment also for suggestions and questions for uh, this video or what you need to do to the next videos that we are going to make okay we're done here so again save and let's view that's how for me that's how it works I do not know if if for what what you are doing in your side but uh, in my case I'm saving it and then reviewing okay so look at the choices it's not uh, ran rambled already it's not randomized you can see that it's arranged according to the choices let's check it individually there are cases of uh, not according to what we expected to see I think we're good here so we have here the, the set up a while ago into textual if we have this into dots you will see dots here 10 dots for referring to 10 items okay I think we're good here and let's just answer one to make it uh, say if it's working the blank surface of the right faster the reaction say larger I've seen this larger okay correct
And let's answer another maybe a wrong question. I mean wrong answer here. Saves wrong. Okay. So we're good here. Next in the interactive book we have the pretest. We have the introduction. Now we need to put the content no, the topic. So that the student will have something to read before uh, having uh, some set of activities so we have here add page just add page and then let's name our third column third page as let us study okay and then uh, we can put introduction also uh, not the introduction but the text so we will put text here and way to go let us level up put the text here again you need to enter one space below and above so that uh, your text won't won't look much uh, won't look crowded when it's finished so I'll give you a, a scenario look this time we, we will have this one okay so we didn't we did not put spaces here and let's see how it goes and save it and let's try to look at and compare how it goes to those who have sp space before and after the paragraph so we have here space between before and after paragraph look at that and let's let us study we don't have space there so so look at that guys it sticks to the near the border so it doesn't look well so yeah that's for that's for me I do not know with you but uh, that's what I'm doing and I find it statically you know, visually appealing I'll, I'll give my tabs here okay so and of course I won't forget the space between and after and then so that's the text we needed to add another content uh, the next content would be a table so I'll have to copy the table here using snip and snitch from the my resource material just like that you can see this in your screen because I'm doing it behind the screen okay and then save it text here I mean I uh, am yeah, table so what I'm doing right now is, is snip and snitching the table from the resource material which is module and then okay I'm done and let's go back here to our mm, interactive book let's add content and uh, my content is an image and then I will add image and then I'll go to where the image is uh, located so you can just have alternative text if the image won't load let's have factors affecting the reaction rate okay. that's the title of the table Okay, factors between reaction rate. 
and we still have additional content because this is uh, the last column is separated from the group so we will just have to add it into another table okay additional you can name it anywhere you want it additional table okay so that's our let us uh, that is the interactive book let us study let us try let us learn and I think we're done here let's just have to save it and view it for the last time it is according to our will if it goes according to our will then we will upload this to an LMS for the students to use okay this is the cover page of the book and read so the first part is the introduction we presented the competency and the specific objectives then we did the pretest here okay pretest and then uh, after the pretest the content so way to go let's level up the collision collision theory yeah and and then the tables that uh, the table that we uploaded look at that pretty nice and that's it guys so if you have your summary and submit of course there are progress here book progress if you have done uh, if you haven't skipped any of the pages you will have is 100 percent and if you do the necessary interactions with the book say answering the questions or the activities here you will still we will also have this as 100 percent okay but uh, again the interactive book at as of this time the h5p updates still it, it it's uh, it it cannot be graded so it's just used for presenting a topic or content for the students to study if you have quizzes and other activities after the content you will use another set of h5p applications other than the interactive book so, okay so that's it guys thank you for watching um, we will uh, end this by uploading it to the to our subject that's from for grade 10 okay and then what we're going to do as you can see we have tons of h5p applications here I just had an activity if you're new to this channel so this is how we're going to add the content that we have just uh, developed h5p and then uh, just uh, write draft title here and then click this uh, page here say it says add so we will add then let's go to last modified that's uh, that this is our recently developed h5p app and then select and then we'll do the necessary options here so let's just allow download embed copyright button grade so in this case guys we will set up none here because as experience uh, the interactive book so far uh, this is cannot be graded so we will just have to stick to none so again we will just use the interactive book just to present temp options okay so let's just leave that and we have the activity completion mark as completed and then show activities complete when conditions are met yan must view so we will just have to set up here as uh, just must view activity to complete it because we cannot uh, the student will not receive a grade in uh, using a interactive book as mentioned again it will it will be used for presenting content lessons objectives 
and uh, some diagnostic test pretest about the lesson okay then save and return and then we will we will be redirected to the to the subject that we are integrating this and then let's put this into Monday as a new okay I, it won't budge I don't know what's happening did I turn my turn editing on of course it's turned on okay so what maybe one at a time okay ah it's it's lagging okay so we have that and then we will align it to our to the rest of our lesson and this time we will edit the title so that is module 4 so we will use uh, this one here just copy it to make it easy for you to edit Jan. and then just replace it with uh, quarter 4 module 4 lesson 1 and then the title I think that's chemical reaction and uh, enter there you go guys we're done here and just uh, say close that turn editing on so that's it we're done thank you for watching feel free to comment share and like this video and if you want an additional video of any other HPIP application, just feel free to comment in the comment box below. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching and good day. God bless.